What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So it is an amazing feeling Friday. Got my fresh cut, got all my little OCD things, you know, marked away. But with the amazing weather outside, so sunny, it's so nice. What better day to install, you know, some little modifications than today. I have just a little aesthetic modification that's basically just gonna clean up uh, the way that your BMW looks. I'm gonna be showing y'all how to install these custom BMW emblems just to kind of color coordinate your car a little bit. So for me, the BMW symbols all being blue and white, how they are, to me, it just kind of throws off the look. So as you guys can see, I do have the sparkling graphite metallic, and then I have my carbon fiber mirror caps. Link for those down below. These are real. But you can see that I basically have like a black slash gray uh, color tone to the entire car. And especially on the inside of the car, guys, I absolutely love the way my interior looks now, especially with the custom wheel and just the all black and carbon fiber going on. But this just bothers me. It bothers me that this is blue and white, and it's so distracting from the rest of the interior, in my opinion. Now, it seems like such a small thing for all the emblems to kind of be this color. But like I said, it is really the little things that change the overall big picture of the car. So in today's video, I'm basically gonna be showing you guys how to swap all these out. Um, basically just solidify the look of your car. And it's just like a little aesthetic modification, you know? Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and do that. So these are actually the new emblems that I purchased off of Amazon. I think these are about 20 bucks uh, for the whole setup. But I basically opted for the all black with just a little bit of silver uh, finish to it. I think this matches just the overall look of the car so much better, especially considering the airbag one's gonna go from blue to black. It's really gonna match the whole interior. And so now this little kit, I'll leave a link for it down below, but it's gonna come with four of the wheel caps. Honestly, I'm not gonna really bother with these. The wheel caps I have on right now are color-coded to match the rest of the wheels, which matches the paint on my car. So I actually really don't mind these. These new ones still look pretty good and I dig them, so I'm gonna keep them. But for now, I'm not gonna put these on the car. We're really just gonna go ahead and do the hood, the trunk, and then especially the airbag one on the inside. And now for this, you're gonna have two options. So basically it's gonna come separate and you can basically just put this uh, with the adhesive that's supplied on it over your existing emblem. And that would kind of just go over just like that. And you wouldn't have to actually remove the emblem uh, from the vehicle, but I actually, don't like that so I'm just gonna go ahead and pop this thing off and put the whole emblem on itself so we're basically putting on this backing portion and then uh, just basically installing the other top part over this I swapped these out before but as you guys can see this thing is discoloring so bad so yeah we're going to remove this and so for now this is basically what I did is I put tape at the 12 3 6 and 9 o'clock positions and as you guys can see I put some overlapping on the inside basically uh, and that's just to stop us from scratching the paint because the last thing we want to do is scratch this and these are the angles I'm going to come at it from. So now we'll go ahead and get our plastic pry tool and just basically gently remove this up. All right, guys, and be extremely careful not to scratch the paint because none of us want scratched paint. So this side of my plastic pry tool is a little beat up. So I'm going to go ahead and just use this side and get it in there. And if you come at it from the right angle, oh, look at that. Just come at it from the right angle and try to like dig down a little bit. Should be able to just pop it up. So we're not only going to come from one side because we'll break the little plugs underneath that actually hold this in place. Now that we have one side pried, we're gonna try to move to the other and just wiggle it up. Sweet, so now we basically got it to this position. Like I said, you don't wanna break anything, so we're just gonna slowly start to wiggle. Wiggle both sides, put it under. Ooh, just like that. Bam, it is now removed. So it's probably so easy to remove because we're actually missing uh, one of these little plug pieces. Um, so what I'm gonna go ahead and do is put that on order, peel back this adhesive and at least get this put on for now. And then once you have it laid on, just go ahead and press it down, make sure everything's nice and even. And since the two little clips are on this side, you're basically gonna hold it in place just like that. And then lay this new uh, adhesive part over top. Just basically press that in, make sure it gets all nice and tight in there. I'm just gonna go ahead and install this. Freaking, I'll go ahead and buy this on FCP Euro. I figure it's probably like a buck, so really I'm not like complaining too hard about it. I'm gonna slap the emblem on so I'm not driving around looking all weird with this thing removed because that will bother me for now i mean that's fine one side's there one side's not I'll order it on fcp Europe. let's go ahead and just install that anyway so let's go ahead and just slot this on real quick Wop. so since there is only one installed like one little grommet i figure i'll just seed it keep it on for now it won't fly off or anything uh but next time i need to remove it, it won't be too snug i'll just remember to lift from this side so bam we'll just seed it and remove all of our tape So satisfying guys and then just with that we're going to push it into place and yeah I mean it's good to go winds gonna blow this way anyway it shouldn't fly off um, yeah but I mean it looks way better but yeah guys just remember really with the hood you're just gonna need to make sure both those little grommets are there 
uh, to get a secure connection. But you basically should make sure that everything's taped off. You don't want to scratch any of the paint. Highly recommend buying these. I mean, I personally think it's the little touches that change the cars, like interior, exterior, etc. And a lot of these little touches add up. I'll leave a link down below for the little emblems that I purchased. They're about 20 bucks. If you guys like the way these things look or you found this video helpful, go ahead and smash that thumbs up. Comment down below if you have any questions at all. And as always, if you're not subscribed, smash the subscribe button. Stay tuned for more content to come. As always, thank you all for watching and I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace out.